Ainda mais, basta aqui! Around here was London Hall Street, yeah, and Newmarket Street, yeah, and uh, that's that's where the tenements were, yeah. And there was full, full of big families, yeah, sort of like stuck only two rooms, yeah, you know, and uh, we were tenement, yeah, building with a hole, held six families, yeah, and only twelve rooms, yeah, you know, and uh, that, was, that, that was a part and parcel of 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 the lack of housing and the need for housing, yeah, and there he bought the big of it, yeah. Uh, London Corporation there wouldn't, wouldn't spend money in houses there for, for the people there that, that was the need. So where, where were these tenements? Just around here. Like. Yeah. You see that road That's uh, be, before, before this year was built. Yo, I think. Big change now. I big change now. So, Tony, tell me what are your first memories of the civil rights movement? Well, we'll, we'll civil rights there. Uh, being on the first march, there, uh, myself, and my brother, and a friend, there, which uh, we, me, myself, and my brother, and my friend, there, which which uh, we live in Bishop Street, there, which is not very far from here, there, there, Bishop Street, there, and uh, uh, just through the walls on Sir John Hill, there, you know, and uh, as as young lads, there, we we hear there's something happening, there, in town, there, we didn't know what it was, you know, and. Uh, there was this march or protest there that was uh, taking place there that was going to leave from the old station and, and uh, the water side on October 5th, 1968. So being young and curious, we decided to go over to investigate because it seems it something different like happened in the town and there, right there. Got a crack, so, maybe? Ah, there. So, so we, we, we were chasing each other there, the whole way down there, over and across the bridge there, and uh, we got to the old station there. Uh, well, we call the old station now, there, but I've uh, actually the dairy station, the only dairy station surviving there. Is that the old station down there by the Craig Evan Bridge? Aye, 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 you know. And I uh, got there, and uh, I see these placards there, uh, which, which to me was six we've written on them there, sitting, and then we were over the guy like we sort of long his hair, and I said, there, can I carry one of these here, right? The placard? Aye. What was uh, written on them? Uh, one man, one vote there. The different placard was there. Fair housing for all and, and what there, which I didn't understand. One man, one vote. I grabbed, I had a clue what I meant, right there. And my brother and my friend Stevie Doty, there, were trying to pull it off me, there. And uh, the man called me, hey, like, leave him alone and what there, so they backed off. Now, when the merchants sort of assembly they take part, there, they were still sort of chasing and, and out each, each other of the sort of march because there, they also, a bit, it was a bit of crack there, a bit, a bit, a bit somewhat just. Yeah. Kids are kids, like you know. Uh, so, so we're moving on a couple of years there in, in uh, around October 1971. Yeah. Uh, younger brother Patty, who was 13, 14, there, years of age, there. and uh, there was a thing called Free Dairy, which which uh, the party kids were taking down, but there was white lines drawn across the sort of streets that the British Army could, couldn't uh, sort of pass. Yeah, I didn't stop passing. But uh, the with the white lines there? Uh, I was screaming between Paddy Bogside, I think, and lo- uh, the Bogs- Bogs- Bogside residents. And, and, uh, keep the, is that, is that the line that the <coughs> British Army and the RUC couldn't pass? Uh, they couldn't pass. The three go. specials? So, uh, so, so, so around, around uh, October 71, there, uh, a few months after the line was sort of drawn up, there, uh, me, me, me brother Patrick was open a workman's hut, there, at Bumba Southway. That was there for people sort of sit there and just there monitor the sort of like lines there. They sat at the, the British Army Crossing. Sat at the lines? Hey. They sat at the lines? No, no uh, the, the, the book was able to say on the lines on, on the Loma Road, you know. Yeah, yeah. So uh, a British Army Patrol came down 
the what they lane called the Tucky Field, which is the hill there, uh, Potato Cemetery there, you know, and the officer opened op my fire there. Now the guys like see the St. Peter's coming down, they all ran there, my brother Pat included, and he opened fire there, and they ran, ran the house across the road there, hanging the houses, and Patty says there, I'm happy, a r- rubber bullet there, and uh, the guys all said they weren't fire rubber bullets, they were fire real ones there. They actually shot the heel of his shoe and a the bullet there, losing his foot. Yeah, you know, his, his heels sort of saved him because uh, uh, he was using a pistol, so he, he was in the hospital. When he came out there, um, around uh, sort of Christmas time, he was in crutches there. Now, you know, on January 30th, 1972, we stood on on, on a bank in there, near a home there, and went to the Civil Rights March coming down there uh, from Craigan there, down, down the South Bay Hill there, where he, where, where, where he was shot. There, you know, and, uh, we were going to join the march, we my friend called Michael Gallagher. Um, he he sort of annoyed me for weeks and weeks and weeks about going to the march because he'd never been to one. There you go. So I said, I will we'll go to this one here, we'll meet it at, at, at the Randyville, which is down the hill from where we're standing. There. So the march came down the hill, and my brother Patty couldn't go. I said, You're not following us because he was on crutches. There. And if a, if a, if a, a red broke out there, he couldn't run. There. So uh, we left him behind. There. We went down and joined on the march. There. That now became sort of famous as Bloody Sunday. There, the march went along a Brandywell, a leggy road, up up Western Street and away round and down Wilmer Street. There, now when we got to the Wilmer Street, there, uh, I was blocked there at uh, near Frankie Ramsey's uh, cafe. There, I think the British Army had a barricade there. There, of Saracens and there, shields. There, you know, I was blocked there. So. The crowd was sort of like footing off the Shamblin Street there and Russell Street there, you know. And uh, we were sort of down, we, we, we kept on sort of going like uh, along there. And next thing, some people in the crowd started throwing stones at, at uh, the British Army there. Now, uh, I was used to this here, like there, you know, but uh, my friend wasn't, so he, he got very, very scared. And I says, uh, just okay there. Let's, let's go on the uh, Free Day Corner there. And we hear the speeches. Yeah, so we're coming to the Friday corner, and uh, someone was calling from the platform. Uh, we'll burn it there, please, please, please come to the platform. We'll burn it there, please, please come to the platform. Meaning, burn it there, Michaeliski. Who think was. What platform was it? The uh, at, to give speeches? Uh, down at, the bog? Uh, at, 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 uh, I, I, I was, I was Laurie there, so, so I back with Laurie with there, Antanas there, or if like there. And uh, the Red Friday corner said, you know, like down near Friday corner, yeah. Thing. And. Uh, um, we were standing around for about two or three minutes there, and uh, he was still chock white. And he says, "There, let's go home." Now, we walked up about three minutes, four minutes there, till Wales there, and uh, so some behind the Wales there says, uh, "There's someone shot in the bog side," and we says, "No, that's that's rumours there, right there, like like uh, you know, we just left there there." By the time I got home there, uh, my whole family was listening to. The, uh, the radio, the, the army broadcasts there, and he says five people shot dead on the bog side, and we're so lucky. They said no, we're, we're telling you, and uh, next thing reports started to come in there of uh, a body line here and a body line there, giving locations, right there, and we were caught. Now the army was actually repeating themselves, right there, and we were caught. We, 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 we thought about twenty or thirty they shot dead, you know, because they kept repeating themselves, repeating themselves. But, but, uh, How did you get that radio? Was that the yeah. army's radio? No, he, he, just shut down on, on, on your wee transit radio. Yeah, and and uh, the whole day yeah, pick, pick up every man's space was on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Did you what they were, their plans uh, and what they were uh, relaying back to the base? Uh, and uh, about, about a body here, about here. Of course, the cavalry was, was, was propaganda. It was, they're, they're saying about a nail bomb found here and a rifle found here and things like that. There was all lies. You see, you know, yeah. Did they know you were listening? Probably, aye, aye, of course they did. Yeah, probably the, the, the local reports will be listening as well. He's right, you know, so it at, at, turned out that, that at, uh, th- 30 people shot dead on the day and another man died there from his injuries later on. There. Now, that night, there, along to our chapel up here, if you, if, if you can swing around and see the dome of a chapel. Seven o'clock mass there, and people going up there, and the people who probably went to mass that morning were still going up that day because there was the, the whole city was in shock there, and people going to sort of pray for the families there that lost people, and even 
at this stage we didn't actually know how many was dead or how many was alive or how many, you know. Uh, when the people were coming up out of mass about uh, 8 o'clock there, that night there, the Paris attacked them. There. The Paris attacked them the uh, night after Bloody Sunday? No, no that night. There. The same night as Bloody Sunday, Sunday, Sunday they attacked people coming out of mass. We, we battled and, and uh, like, uh, another sort of memory of that time was, I think, at 54, there was actually an anti internment march at, 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 at McGillian Strand, there, on week the beach. Yeah, week four, maybe two weeks before. And uh, there was a bad charge by, by the same part. You, you, you see, people, people, um, the influx of people joining uh, the ARA, there, official and provisional, there, at that time, there, especially after Bloody Sunday, there, where there, there's holes of holes over there like 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 filled up with, with volunteers there that they wanted job because of there they had enough there they they, they tried to march peacefully there and they were batting on the ground there or they were shot dead in the streets there and uh don't forget like the summer before there there was uh two young men shot in the box side there uh William Beatty and uh Seamus Cusick there and uh we we had kilns like who shot them? Uh, Bruce Jeremy, there. We killed like and then McGavigan, there. Who's young girl, there. Was coming back from school. Was shot there in the bug side, there. You know. So like, the, the, there's events there that that we killed us sort of like a ones and twos, there. But this says yes, they they uh, they actually use stormtroopers, there. They uh, attack a peaceful some race march, there. And uh, the, the stormtroopers reaction was to go, go and fire from the hub, there. As you can see on footage for, from the time there's actually one soldier actually fired from the hub, you know, and and there's actually people shot from the walls as well, there, like during that there, so so, so, so the walls was there, and it wasn't just the hub parts, it's there, a few soldiers lost their heads, it was actually planned. So they know. were shooting from the hub like they were in the western? Yeah, ma, Anybody ma, was a target? Ma, ma. Yeah, but Who caught that footage? Yeah, the, 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 the one of the uh, sort of cameras I think from that day, there, you know, and uh, uh, just like 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 uh, yeah, people say they lost control there, but there that that was systematic killing there. There was no lose control there. Yeah, there was a, was a systematic murder, you know. Oh, 